It's a family-based operation and we try to build relationships at a young age with players. Now the USG allows us to give no charge equipment to juniors. So that's where we have to start building our relationships. And so that's a very big part of the tour program where our guys are out scouting and evaluating talent all around the world, around the country. And we build our relationships from, from that time. I, we have so many tour players now that started when they were in their teen years and then support them all the way through college. And then as they turn pro, we're gonna be there um, to support them at that time as well. Two of the guys will be on the range, uh, networking with the players as they come. There's always little tweaks to be done, whether it's a re-grip or they want to try a different shaft in their driver or something wasn't working last week. We think we've heard every question before, but every week or every month there's always a new question that comes up, which is always amazing. So we're not doing the same thing every week. It's like the guys get to work with players and there's a myriad of issues that come up or little tweaks that need to be made and they make them on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We dial those things in and then they can get the plane on Thursday. So our traveling workstation, the tour trailer, has about a thousand graphite wood shafts. It has about 1500 iron shafts, 1500 grips, and 250 metal wood components. So this traveling station can build just about anything for a tour player. Well, most of the guys are really good golfers. You know, all the guys on the PJ Tour are, you know, scratch golfers, the reps. So they know golf, they've been around golf their whole life. And the other thing is, they just have to be used to being around high profile athletes. And they are, they handle themselves great. Being inside the ropes is not for everybody, but the team that we've assembled, they're really good with all of our staff players and all the guys that they meet. And all the way from our amateur team, recruiting not just great golfers, but great people. And so it makes our job a lot easier or the PGA Tour team's job a lot easier once they do get up to the PGA Tour. The U.S. Open uh, historically has been our busiest week of the year. We have mini tour players, we have Corn Ferry tour players, we have players from Europe all around the world that are staff players that qualify. And so a lot of times we'll have 30 players in the field and they all need something. They're coming from all over the world and we build about 100 pieces throughout the week. So Monday through Wednesday, these guys can knock out 100 pieces, which is a lot. It's really pretty cool because we, we do compete with them and at the same time, you know, if somebody's generator breaks down, another company helps them or if something happens, all the guys that drive the trailers and work on the trailers help each other. It's like a traveling circus almost where they all pack up and go to the next spot. And if somebody's having a problem, we help them, they help us. And it's, it's a cool, uh, cool group of people. I think when TrackMan first came out, there were some that were really into it and some not at all. I think now everybody has kind of embraced it. So there's some guys that use it more than others, but I would say 50% of our staff, maybe even more, have an actual TrackMan that they own. So it's a big part of their routine and what they use to maximize their performance. So there's all kinds of stats now that the PGA Tour provides. The guys use that a lot, and that's been a big part of the game. Um, and something that as an engineering company, you know, Ping is, we are very, we have a lot of data and we have great engineers that provide us with data that we can share with our players as well. So I think that, that synergy, every work, everybody working together is how we can you know, help our players play their best. Victor trusts us a lot for equipment. I think he is more stats driven, like he's a track man. He loves the numbers of track man, the ball numbers and things like that. But when it comes to equipment, he does put a lot of trust in us. He's like, hey, this is what I want. The thing I love about Victor, if the club is better, he puts them in. He doesn't need to take them to the course. He doesn't need five days. He doesn't need a month. The PGA Tour reps are using their expertise to help him maximize his performance. And he works really hard. Like he knows what his weaknesses are. He knows what his strengths are. And when he has a weakness, he goes and works on it. And as we've seen, he's just gotten better and better. And I, th I think his work ethic is amazing. Our priority is the staff players, but because our product is so good right now, I mean, we have many 
players that are playing our clubs for free. And so we work with a variety of players, staff and non-staff, on a weekly basis. We won the driver count multiple times in big events in the last couple of years. We won WGCs, but the big one was the Masters. And what does that tell you? The top players in the world are playing the best driver in the world. And so players know, they look in everybody else's bags and they see, hey, what are the guys playing that aren't getting paid? Because there are quite a few players out there that don't have contracts, they just want to play whatever the best is. And so we have a lot of ping drivers in play. And that's just a testament to the great drivers, the great clubs that we're making right now. And it's a big deal out there when we can win driver counts because we haven't done that historically. I think it's really rewarding um, when one of our players wins. I mean, because we're the PGA Tour team, we're always like on a tech stream every, every week and we're talking about our players and hey, what did he do this week? Uh, what little change? Did he put this club in? Did he do this? Did he do that? It's a lot of fun to tune in on Sunday and see when one of our players is up on the leaderboard, especially in the big events. And then when they pull it off, it's a lot of fun for us because we've been involved so heavily with them on a day-to-day -day basis. Blood, sweat, and tears with these guys constantly, you know, and it's sometimes players don't realize how much effort goes into helping them achieve their goals. But these guys, like they, it's a lot of hard work, but at the end of the day, it's very rewarding for all of us when they do win.